I can, Mr. Dorflinger. I guess the, the fair question to your points is how far does this go with your, and, and since you're the one testifying, I think it's fair, with, with your personal beliefs or, or any particular church. I mean, I would suppose that, I, I know the church, I'm not sure about you, believes that the use of uh, modern birth control, the, the pill, is, is morally wrong. So would you then say that we don't want to uh, use tax subsidies or you call funding to provide to health insurance companies that provide birth control pills for, for women? I think it's a, a very different moral issue, Congressman, because... Well, it's, it's, it's still the same directive from the Catholic Church, isn't it? Yes, but we're not, we're not against federal funding of abortion because Catholic moral teaching is against it. We're against abortion because of a violation of the most fundamental right. It is something rejected not only by Catholics and many other religions, but by the Hippocratic Oath that gave rise to medicine as a profession. It's against the considered moral judgment of millions of Americans who have no particular religious affiliation at all. That has been seen in, uh, in the past uh, as a crime. And of course, today, uh, there is at least one abortion procedure that is a federal crime. And it is the killing of children who in any other context are seen even in federal law as persons who have a right to be protected from lethal harm through the unborn victim well, of the well, violence. Well, let's go to another an arbitrary example. arbitrary exception for abortion. Let's go to another example, embryonic stem cell research. Mm -hmm. uh, do you believe Congress should impose tax penalties on people who purchase insurance policies that cover medical cures derived from such research? Oh, I think that's a, uh, well, let's say it's a very far-fetched thing to have happen because I don't think everyone well, you don't think, well, ever respectfully, you don't think people's lives are saved with embryonic stem cell research? I'm sorry? You don't believe that people's lives can be saved or have been saved because of embryonic stem cell research? I don't think the evidence exists to say that embryonic stem cells will ever be used in actual clinical treatment. They're far too uncontrollable. They cause far too many tumors when used in animals, you can't say, tell what they're going to do once they're in a human body. So I think it's, a, it's a, you know, an imaginary question, but let me answer that uh, I think what we're concerned about here is the use of tax dollars, tax subsidies, tax support for something that actually takes life. We are against federal funding of embryonic stem cell research itself when it involves uh, the taking of life of uh, embryonic human being. In some states, uh, Pennsylvania is one, uh, the killing of an embryo for experimental purposes is a felony, and yet the federal government is funding it.